Hi everyone, it's Ali and I'm so happy to be back on the My Favourite Things YouTube channel with this really cute little interactive card with two interactive elements. So I'm just going to start with some white uh, fairly heavyweight card and I'm going to make it um, a cloud background on this piece for the background of my scene. I'm going to use tumbled glass and my two My Favourite Things cloud stencils, so the larger one and the mini cloud stencil as well. And I'm just going to sort of alternate between the two sizes of cloud stencils down the page. I just really like that variation in small small sort of clouds and larger clouds as well. So I just went down the page gradually bringing them across and um, creating that cloud background and I decided I wanted a sort of waterhole or a lake on the bottom left hand side of my card and I was just planning as I went along and I also used my edges stitched edges dies there to create some sand hills in the background as well for the sort of safari scene and I'm just as I said I place things down on the card and decide where I want them to go um, and I also used my grass dies there to create some grass hills and something because I knew I wanted a lion to pop out from behind sort of the grassy hill so I needed it to be a little bit higher on the right hand side. I cut down my blue piece to make the lake a little bit flatter just so that it fitted better on the card. And now I'm using those really cute Safari Friends stamps and using my Extreme Black ink to stamp those out on my um, Misty. I've learnt that with my Misty I just have a really light touch the first stamping and make sure it's all straightened in the corner and then I go in with a little bit of a firmer touch on that second stamping and I find the image I get from that's really good. Now I don't have time on the video today to show you all my colouring but I have listed the colours that I've used for each of the animals so I hope that helps if you're wanting to replicate the colouring for the animals here. So I've again just put my card together without sticking anything down just to see how everything's going to be positioned and to put it a little bit in place and to get my ideas out of my head and <laughs> onto the page and I've used a bit of uh, the Glad Press and Seal there which I find is really handy once I've got everything in place to pick it all up and keep it all in the right spot and then I just put my um, adhesive on the back and then I can just turn it over and press it onto the card and it's all exactly where I wanted it to be. Now I'm going to use my surf and turf dies, the smaller one, to make a little slider for the hippo to go along. And I'm just again trialing where it needs to be so that it's behind the grass and on the blue um, bit of water. And I've used some washi tape there to stick it down, which was probably a mistake because as you can see, I had some trouble taking that off. But don't despair because I knew the grass was going to cover that bottom bit. So if I make a boo boo like that, I never rush into things or get annoyed and throw it away I just have a look and see you know how serious it is and then fix it up if I can and then I was just seeing where my line needed to be positioned and therefore my die and I used a smaller piece of washi tape this time and down the bottom so that if it did rip it was hidden by the grass <laughs> so there's my two little channels and I just actually stuck the pieces that came out of those channels onto the base card and now I'm using some 3d foam to pop that up and I'm going to stick that onto my base card like so. Then I'm using some acetate strips that I've cut out and a little bit of 3D foam or 3D foam square that's going to run along in that channel just making sure it moved well and then I stick my hippo on top of that and he moves great. Now I've trimmed that grass down and just again deciding where it needed to go and I've put some 3D foam on the back of that and making sure that it wasn't in the way of any of the elements that needed to move or slide and then I'm just carefully positioning that onto the front of the card and I've also attached the acetate piece to my line and I'm just testing them out to see if they move freely and don't get caught on the grass or anything like that now I also did the little bird and glued him onto the lion's head I punched out a circle cut that in half and that's what I'm going to use as my little tabs to stick on the end of my acetate pieces and I just trimmed off any excess as well. And I've used my dye, cloud dyes to cut out some clouds to add some interest to the top of the card 
the bottom was quite busy and I felt it just needed something to balance it out. And then that's how they move. So really cute. These, oh, this stamp set's so great for interactive cards. I can think of heaps of ideas to use with it. So it's a whole lot of fun. And I just needed to do a sentiment now. So I stamped that out in Versamark ink and white embossed it. And then I'm just trimming it down into strips to stick on the front of the card. I love all the sentiments in this set too. They're so great. And then I'm just going to stamp a little pull here on the top of each of the tabs just to help a little bit. And I kind of like the tabs sticking out there so they're a little bit more noticeable. But you could have your front piece slightly smaller if you wanted your tabs to come in in line with the front of the card. And that's how it moves. Loads of fun. Thanks so much for joining me this time and I hope you enjoyed my card and that you'll visit us again soon.